My name is Tom Crosby. When I was in the Navy in 1953, ended up in the service as a dispersing clerk, second class. My brother and I were with my stepdad and family, and I was going to school there. We graduated from vocational high school in San Diego, both my brother and I. We lived in Pacific Beach at the time. Before I went over there, I was a diver, springboard diver. So the first thing I did coming stateside, went over to Mission Beach Plunge, got on the low board, did a beautiful back somersault with a half twist, one of the best ones I ever did, and I forgot that it was a shallow pool. I hit the bottom of the pool and broke my toe. This is before going to LA for my pre-induction, which I did on crutches. But my brother and I agreed a long time ago during the Korean War, we wanted to join the Navy, not just be there for two years as a draft, so which we did. He was a year and a half younger than, my, than I was. He came in about a month after I did, but we both went through NTC. He ended up on the East Coast and I ended up on the West Coast. They put me in special services and then I dove for the Navy. The real reason that we went to the Naval Training Center was because of what happened uh, in the Philippines before the Korean War and that was World War II. Pearl Harbor was bombed, the Philippines was bombed that same afternoon, and our family was living there. Shortly after they came ashore, the Japanese, they came by the house and told us to pack up three days worth of clothing, food, mosquito nets, which we did, and they took us to the University of Santa Tomas, which was a Catholic university, and we joined about 3,000 other Allied nationalities. Well, that three days of provisions, it turned out to be about over three years. We had help a little bit from the Red Cross, but most of it was like a small city within the city. Three guys tried to escape. They brought them back and executed them. They separated us right in the beginning. All the women were in one building. All the elder men were on the gymnasium floor on cots. All the young men and boys, they were in the same building. We, my brother and I, we were in the same building with uh, the Japanese garrison and the commandant, and that's how we lived. So I never spent one night with my mom all three years. It was hard because we went from kids who had everything to uh, a confinement that, you know, we never experienced. Like one year, 43, there was a typhoon. We had about 27 inches of rain, so everything was about three feet of, you know, the wind, everything. It wiped out all the shacks and food supplies, and it, it was bad. We survived all that, and always wondering when somebody's gonna come and help us, so we at least had hope. We, uh, we never lost hope. Remember, we're between the age of eight when we went in and 11 when we got out. Most of the adults lost half their weight. I weighed 48 pounds when I was 11 years old. We were starting, as you know. We got our only Red Cross package that actually got through because when one came, the Japanese helped themselves. They took out cigarettes and food because they were as bad off as we were now. They left candy bars in there. My brother and I each had a Hershey bar, and I took the Hershey bar and I broke off one little piece and I licked it once, just once. That was it for the day, and I did that every day. That was heaven. When I think about that, it's simple. brother and I were in the, our, our building and my mom was in the other building and uh, we heard the, the explosions outside of camp. Didn't know if they were us, theirs or ours. They came in the camp, three tanks and a bunch of guys and, and I met later on a, a couple of those guys, the 1st Cavalry Division. The reason they were there that soon was because MacArthur heard that the Japanese had ordered us killed, all of us and leave no trace. And uh, a few days later, um, MacArthur came in to uh, visit his, a lot of people that he left behind. And as soon as he left, the Japanese started shelling us. They counterattacked. Four days of nonstop shelling, 
killed a lot of uh, internees that thought they were free. But for four days, uh, we lost a lot of people. We were able to come home on a uh, Liberty ship instead of a troop transport like most of them came back on. We were on there for the whole month of April, finally came to the United States. For, for us, this was America because we'd never been here before. We were invited to a POW meeting. You know, we don't feel like we fit in because we're civilian POWs. And then in one voice, a POW is a POW.